As we have all just heard, today we formally commission all the delegates from our diocese who, who will attend the Plenary Council and also those delegates who live in the Archdiocese of Perth and who are representatives of various religious congregations and other ministries. Had Australia, and indeed the whole world, not been struck by the COVID-19 pandemic, the first session of the Plenary Council would have commenced today in Adelaide. Notwithstanding the many urgent and serious challenges which the pandemic places before all of us, the decision to postpone the First Assembly for 12 months has at least given us more time to enter more deeply into our reflection and our prayer concerning the fundamental question of the Plenary Council. What is God asking of us here in Australia at this time. In a few moments, I will invite the delegates to step forward for this important ceremony of commissioning. But before I do so, I just want to offer a few brief reflections. Today, right across the world, the Church celebrates the feast of St. Francis of Assisi, the saint whose name the present Pope chose at the time of his election. It was St. Francis who, kneeling before a crucifix hanging in a half-ruined church, the church of San Damiano in the countryside outside the town of Assisi, seemed to hear a voice from the crucifix speaking to him and saying, go and rebuild my church for it is falling into ruin. Francis at first thought these words referred to the half-ruined building in which he found himself. So immediately he set himself the task of restoring that church building to its original beauty. It was only through prayer, through trusting faith, and through patience but Francis came to understand that the Lord was asking something much more important. That Francis, through his radical commitment to the gospel, might lead the whole church to a renewal of its original beauty and to a deeper fidelity. While our church is not falling into ruin, we're all aware of the many challenges we face. And so it seems to me that our plenary council might well be our San Damiano moment. When we hear the Lord calling to us as the community of the church here in Australia to return once again with courage and with boldness to the beauty of the gospel and begin, begin to build our lives, our institutions, our parishes, our ministries more solidly on the basis of gospel principles. As for St Francis, so for us today, this is not a call to tear down the church and start again. The Lord Jesus promised to be with his church through the gift of his Holy Spirit and he has been faithful to that promise across the last 2,000 years. St Francis did not destroy the church of San Damiano. He rebuilt it and restored it to its original beauty. The Plenary Council, whose delegates from our part of the church we commissioned this morning, will be engaged in the same task, not to tear down the church and create one of our own, but rather work with the power of God's spirit to restore and renew the church and enable it to be all that the Lord is calling it, calling us to be. It is because this is the task of the whole church and not just the bishops, 
that the delegates to the Plenary Council will include laymen and women, religious sisters and brothers, deacons, priests and bishops. We will undertake this challenge together. It is a delicate and a demanding task and our delegates to the Plenary Council will need the support of our constant prayer. The whole church in Australia, including of course all the delegates, is seeking to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. There is of course the ever-present danger that we simply presume that the Holy Spirit wants for the church exactly what we want for the church. That may or may not be the case. For as the Lord says to us in the scriptures, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Please pray for all the delegates as we commissioned them this morning. Please keep them in your prayers over the next 12 months. They will be months of intense spiritual preparation for all the delegates right across the country. May those delegates and all of us be attentive to the words that Mary, the mother of the church, once spoke to the stewards at Cana. You do whatever he, Jesus, tells you to do.